Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss about classifications of computer. Computers can be classified in many ways. These classification can be based on size, purpose, data handling. Classification, first we are talking about classification based on size. Then these classification, first one is supercomputer. A supercomputer is the largest and most powerful type of computer. It is used for complex scientific engineering calculations such as weather forecasting, nuclear simulations, etc. Then second one is mainframe. Our mainframe is a large computer that can support hundreds or thousands of users simultaneously. It is used for business applications such as banking, inventory management. Then third one is mini computer. A mini computer is a smaller and less expensive alternative to a mainframe. It is used for applications that need more processing power than a personal computer, but not as much as a mainframe. Next one is microcomputer. A microcomputer is a small personal computer that is designed for individual use. It is the most common type of computer and is used for variety of tasks such as word processing, gaming, browsing the internet, then personal computer or PC. A personal computer is a type of microcomputer that is designed for individual use. PCs are typically used for word processing, gaming, browsing the internet and other productivity tasks. Then workstation. A workstation is a high powered microcomputer that is designed for technical or creative applications. Workstations are typically used by engineer, scientist and artist. Next classification is based on purpose. First one is general purpose computer. A general purpose computer is designed to perform a variety of tasks. Personal computers, workstations are examples of general purpose computers. Special purpose computer. A special purpose computer is designed to perform a specific task or a special task. Supercomputer, mainframe, mini computers are examples of special purpose computers. Then classification based on data handling. First one is digital computer. A digital computer is a computer that uses discrete numbers to represent data. Digital computers are the most common type of computer and are used for a variety of tasks. Then there is analog computer. An analog computer is a computer that uses continuous physical quantities to represent data. Analog computers are not as common as digital computers but they are used for some specialized applications such as controlling, industrial processes etc. Then there is hybrid computer. A hybrid computer is a computer that combines the features of digital and analog computers. Hybrid computers are used for some specialized applications such as weather forecasting and medical imaging. Then digital computer. The major components of a digital computer are first one is input unit. The input unit is used to enter data and instructions into the computer. The most common input devices are the keyboard, mouse, microphone. Second component is central processing unit or CPU. The CPU is the brain of the computer. It is responsible for carrying out the instructions of the program. The CPU is made up of the control unit and the arithmetic logic unit, ALU. Then memory unit. The memory unit stores data and instructions. The main memory is the part of the memory unit that is directly accessible by the CPU. The secondary memory is the part of the memory unit that is less accessible by the CPU but it can store more data than output unit. The output unit is used to display the results of the computer's processing. The most common output devices are monitor, printer, speaker. These are the four major components of a digital computer. There are other components such as bus which connect the different components, power supply which provide power to the computer. This is a brief description of each of the major components. First one is input unit. The input unit is responsible for entering data and instructions into the computer. The most common input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone. The keyboard is used to enter text and numbers. The mouse is used to move the cursor on the screen, select items, microphone is used to record sound. The CPU. 
The CPU is responsible for carrying out the instructions of the program. The CPU is made of control unit and the arithmetic logic unit. Control unit. The control unit is responsible for coordinating the activities of the other components of the computer. It tells the memory unit where to get the instructions, the ALU, what to do with the data and the output unit where to send the results. Then arithmetic logic unit or ALU. The ALU is responsible for performing arithmetic and logical operations on data. It can add, subtract, multiply and divide numbers and it can perform boolean operations such as AND, OR and NOT. Memory unit. The memory unit stores data and instructions. The main memory is the part of the memory unit that is directly accessible by the CPU. It is typically made of random access memory, RAM which can be accessed quickly. The secondary memory is the part of the memory unit that is less accessible by the CPU but it can store more data. It is typically made of hard drive which are slower than RAM but they can store much more data. Output unit. The output unit is used to display the results of the computer's processing. The most common output devices are monitor, printer and speaker. Monitor is used to display text and images on the screen. Printer is used to print text and images on paper. The speaker is used to play sound. So I hope you understand the topic. Like, share and subscribe Technia TV. Thank you.